What's up guys? We're here at the Space OC in Santa Ana, California with my boy James. We're gonna get a tour of his studio and learn what it takes to open up your very own film studio. Yo, yo, yo. my guy, what's up bro? What's good bro? Welcome. You doing, man? Sheesh. This is the spot. First impression when I walked in here was this space was absolutely beautiful. Thank you, thank the sunlight, you. Sunlight, the decorations, it's clean, it smells good. Thank you. All right, so typically this area is kind of set up. So normally I have like all my C-Sans, lights and all that stuff right here. And actually everything in this corner is usually kind of set up. But um, since I rented out on Pier Space, everyone always just takes things and moves it to where they want it. So at the end of every shoot, I'm putting it back. So I've just decided just to kind of leave it in a corner and they kind of take whatever they want mm. and they can set it up however they want themselves. And it kind of like it kind of gives more space in the studio as well. Yeah. Um, instead of setting up like an actual setup set here all the time. Should take some notes because people yeah. I have my setup and people always moving, I gotta put it back. Yeah. But just leave it there and they can decorate it however they want. Exactly, exactly. But yeah. And then but, this uh, this paint process here, it has some like texture to it. What what was that exactly? Yeah, so this is called lime wash. I was like, you know what, I kinda want it to be a little bit different, another set piece. So me and two of my other friends literally took paint and you take like sponges mm. and you literally dab and you take paint brushes and smear in like mm. x formation so we had to and do it's all just one color all one color all one color it's just a the drying process makes it look like this yeah it's just like one of those things that like more work but so worth it yeah like if that was just a plain color wall like exactly. it wouldn't have the same effect that this texture exactly does. it's subtle but it adds a lot of then this bathroom right here was this built out already or? no so actually this whole this whole building was like abandoned oh. for for like years it looked nothing like this it was a complete shell but when i found it they were like oh we're gonna build it out so then the bathroom was something that they put in this unit so yeah everything is brand new nice. brand so new. did you kind of find them just at the right time bro, as they were building it out or bro. did they build it out for you because so like, you were interested i always say it was god's timing for real because mm -hmm. i literally found them the day they started construction wow. so i found them so i went through your whole uh, blueprint yeah. and you're like oh loop net and I was like I've never heard of loop net uh -huh. so I went on loop net and I was searching all over Orange County and this spot came up and I was like all the pictures are fake so mm. I'm like is this a real like rendered like yeah like rendered? yeah like rendered and yeah. so I'm like is this like an actual spot whatever so I get in touch with the landlord and she's like oh like I mean I'm open for you to come see it but it's not what it looks like mm -hmm. I was like trust me I'm a photographer I can I have vision she goes, please come with vision because it yeah. looks nothing like what those pictures do. So when I came, I was like, oh yeah, like literally they had just knocked down all the walls. So yeah, this whole floor, like this whole second floor run was just one big space. That process then building out took about like yeah. two months, you said? No, it took, so the whole process, I found this place in November of 20, what year is it, 23? So November 22, I found them. Mm -hmm. This building wasn't done until May. Oh, yeah, like yeah. Okay. So it took some time. So did you have to to lock it? Did you have to put a deposit back in November? Yeah. Or? So I put a deposit in in January. Okay. Um, they were still uh, obviously under construction, but I was like, I see the vision. I love the texture, the brick. I was like, I need to lock in. So I put down a deposit. They locked it in for me. Um, I didn't have to pay for any of the R and D. I didn't have to pay for any of it. So the only four thing I, two is done. Every right they did and everything. The only thing I paid for was this lime wash yeah. and, and the paint. That yeah. was it. Everything else they 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 did. Yeah, you you found a gem here. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> you said God's timing. Seriously, Such a blessing. So the bathroom, me. Sorry. Uh, simple. It's the bathroom. I took notes with you uh, through your blueprint. Like make it a piece that people could potentially shoot in, yeah. um, but making sure that it's clean and it's nice, um, it feels inviting, like even just over here, like I make sure people have hand sanitizer, uh, Kleenexes, hair ties, bobby pins, um, and people always admire that. They're like, oh my God, like you have ponytails? Like no one ever has that stuff. Uh, even obviously simple as like a steamer. Um, but yeah, people love that. And I don't know, we always get a lot of compliments about our bathroom yeah. and how we have everything that they need, so. So yeah, so then just moving over here, we have our vanity. Um, obviously, this is where makeup does their thing. So whenever clients come in, they do their makeup here. My girlfriend's actually a makeup artist too. So whenever we shoot, um, this is like her little area. She loves it mm -hmm. over here. Um, got our makeup chairs. 
And, but people, I've seen people use it for, for shoots, like actually just photograph this area. Yeah. That's the one thing I love about, about this studio particularly. Um, as you can see, we have all the exposed brick. That's probably like the highlight of this spot. People absolutely love the brick here. Like I've had people come out all the way as far as San Diego. Mm -hmm. Like we want to shoot here because you don't have fake brick walls. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, we want to use the act. Like literally they'll move everything and just shoot up against the wall. I'm like, <laughs> you guys drove all the way from San Diego to shoot on a brick wall. But yeah. I'm like, hey, it, it works. I mean, people love it. But yeah, once we come over here, I have a little bit more props. Um, just another area for people to kind of set nice. up. And this whole area is just more just like an, an aesthetic vibe. Um, kind of went with the vintage rustic type of look since it kind of matches the brick and everything. So as a photographer yourself, did you kind of design it knowing that it would look good on pictures? Yeah. Did you so, like do test shoots as you were designing? Like, yeah. Okay, this here, this there. So what like I, that composition, right? So what I did, I, honestly, with this whole, this whole studio, I wanted it to be somewhere, one that I would shoot. Mm -hmm. And if I would shoot there, I know other people would shoot mm -hmm. there. So with this in particular, I set it up and I did a few test shoots before I opened with a few of my friends that are models. And we shot all over the studio. And I was like, all right, this will look good here. This will yeah. look good there. Um, people love that area. So I kind of let that stay. Um, but yeah, this kind of stuff, I kind of moved around, tested a few different things. Yeah. And this is what I landed on. So. Yeah, it's important to put things into practice before you offer it to Absolutely. other people, whether it's yourself or inviting some of your friends who are creatives. And then just getting the feedback on like what looks good, and absolutely what be better. And then moving over here, this is I call I call like the sleeper wall because it's the most plain of the concrete slash brick wall. So that's concrete over the brick. It's concrete it's over the like brick. There, yeah, that was there. So that is the the natural aesthetic of how the building Jeez. was. So they're that's like, nice. do you want us to restore it or do you want it to stay like that? I was like, actually just keep it because it adds character. We had a player from the Chargers actually come here and Great. shoot and they just went all for it on this wall. I mean, yeah, it's hard to find a wall that has that yeah. kind of texture, and that, natural texture. And it. that's just how the building is. A lot of like this, like the ceiling and the beams and all this stuff mm -hmm. was here since like the 20s. <laughs> like it's the original, like everything. Yeah. And so I was like, the only thing I really want restored uh, maybe is the floor just for like yeah. safety purposes. But all the brick and all that, that's how, it, that's how it's been since. And I think the, the floor, adds like a huge element because yeah. this works but if the floor was like busted yeah and you know yeah i don't think that would have the same kind of nah. but this elevates it a lot so yeah. that way this works with exactly it. then just moving over to the corner it's like a little nook area but a lot of family photographers love shooting over here um, i've even seen them build like their own little arches and sets over here um they put christmas trees in here since mm -hmm. we're during the holiday season right now but yeah, I love this little this little area. Obviously, tons of natural light. Then we have like this light color wall, so it bounces right back. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of light in here. Uh, just overall in the whole studio, there's tons of natural light. What time does the most sunlight get in here? Is the sun ever come in here? You so the sun, in, yeah. So the sun sets right here around okay. like four. Well, now with the with the time difference, it's four. Yeah. And then we get the beams that come in through the window. Yeah. Um, and then during the summertime, it's roughly around like seven yeah. and we get it all coming through yeah. here. People so love the beams. If you're able to get it. those in your studio. <laughs> it's super dope. I mean, I love seeing what people create in here because it's not a massive studio, but it's very versatile um, with all the brick. And then we have all our seamless papers here. And then we have the lime wash here. Me personally, when I shoot, I, I shoot all over the place in here. And the last thing here, we have the... Uh, yeah. So right here we have our... System our seamless paper backdrop. So the one thing, obviously, like I just said, we, it's not like a massive studio, but it's it's big enough. Um, we're actually at a, just under a thousand square feet, it's like 990 square feet. Um, so I wanted to have as much space as possible. Obviously our lights are on stands and I didn't want to put more stands on the floor. So I looked into it and I found out about Veripoles or auto poles. Um, so basically, as you see, they're just poles that go from the ground to the ceiling. So these go up 15 feet. But uh, yeah, here's where I have my white, my gray, my black backdrops. Um, these come free with the studio. I think nice. it's it's fair just to give them the essential. And then I charge for the color backdrops over nice. there. And then yeah. the light right here, is that an add-on as well? So the, the, the lights I actually uh, give to the studio for free cool. um, with every booking. So these are the Godox SK 402s. I call them a great beginner light, but they're great for professional work. I mean, mm -hmm. I use them for all of my photography. Yeah. I would love to upgrade, but I think for here, these are 
these are great. But yeah, so then I have like my V flats over here just to bounce light. And then Apple boxes, just like your, yeah, Apple just your boxes. essentials. I don't even have Apple boxes. That's I need to get that. People are always asking about yeah. that. Yeah. And then right here. This too. Yeah. Got yep, my little so uh, photography cart, gear cart, um, gaffer cart, whatever you want to call it. I just have extra power cables. Usually this is where I tether. So like whenever mm -hmm. I shoot here, have my laptop, put on my gear here, just drag this around with me if I'm moving over here to over there. Um, yeah, because I tether for most most of my shoots, so that's kind of needed for that. So nice. We have a ton of natural light in here, windows everywhere, and we have the skylight. And one thing that people have requested, like, oh, is is the studio blackout capable? Mm -hmm. And as of now, we're not completely blackout capable, but we started the process of getting the skylight blocked out and then also getting these windows blocked out as well. All right, so you're in Orange County. Mm -hmm. um, most of productions that I'm familiar with are always happening in LA, mm -hmm. but there was obviously a market here yeah. that needed to be tapped into For and sure. you did that. So tell me about your you know, thought process behind opening a studio in Orange County. Yeah, so I've, I've lived in Orange County since 2017. Um, obviously I'm a photographer, director, editor, so I do work out here, but I still do work out in LA. Um, but with opening the studio, I knew that the market in Orange County was very, very different than LA. You know, LA is very high scale productions, music videos, etc. But out here in Orange County, it's very family based. Like we, we do have production, um, but it's primarily family based mm. out here. Um, awesome. So when I went into this whole venture, I was like, it can still lean in and, and cater to like the models and the influencers that live out here. But I think my biggest tap, my biggest market will be family. So. It had, to, it had to be out here, it had to be clean. I didn't want to have like a crazy uh, like themed setup. I wanted it to be like, oh, it looks like very inviting, stuff that families like. Um, and that's honestly like our biggest pull, families and, and corporate actually. Mm -hmm. So yeah, whether it's photography or video, they're, they're literally come in here and pick a corner and they'll shoot there for the whole session simply because it looks clean, so. Yeah. yeah. And the majority of your business, is it coming from Peerspace right now or do you have relationships yeah, with so, you know, direct clients? Yeah, so it's all started through Peerspace mm -hmm. and I would say about 30% of them have turned into just direct clients. Mm -hmm. so, Repeat clients? Yeah, they'll, you... they'll contact me directly yeah. and say, hey, we want to book and I'll go that route. But Peerspace has been uh, really pivotal to people at least finding us mm -hmm. between Peerspace and, and Instagram. Yeah. Um, I'm on Gigster, I'm on Splacer. Mm -hmm and I randomly get bookings through there, yeah, exactly. but Peer Space is, is probably the biggest one. Tell me about, you were telling me earlier, you had a photographer book six days straight for yeah. family portraits. Tell me about that. Yeah, so like I said, families are really big out here in Orange County, and with it being the holiday season, it's the time for Christmas photos. So we actually had a photographer book six days, uh, full day, six full days um, to shoot all her Christmas mini photography shoots for, for her clients which was basically like a month and a half's worth of rent. Wow. And those are the type of clients that are out here. So I, I'm really glad that I did the research and, and catered to that, so. Yeah, it's hard to find that in LA. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really have lessons, but well, I'll say advice. Do not start a studio if you're not ready to serve people. Mm. Because yes, like you have a studio, it's dope, it's fun. But at the end of the day, it's, it's, it, it needs customer service. If you're just in it, just to be like, yo, I have a studio. I actually made a whole video about this. Mm -hmm. But if you're like, oh, I have a studio, like that's sick, that's dope. But you're not gonna, one, take care of it, and then also take care of the people that wanna book, don't get into it. Because it's it's easy just for it to be kind of like a prize. Like, oh, I have this place. But people actually wanna spend money and use it. Um, but you're not gonna give them that, 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 that love or that respect, then don't do it because one thing I've learned is like you're gonna deal with a lot of different personalities, a mm -hmm. lot of different, uh, even just a lot of different uh, levels as far as professionalism. I had a lady in here yesterday. She's a outdoor photographer, but her client wanted to shoot in a studio, mm -hmm. so she'd never been in a studio before. She didn't know the first thing about a C stand mm -hmm. or a light. So I stayed for 20 minutes mm -hmm. just to show her like, hey, this is how this light works. This is how you use a C stand, and she was so thankful yeah. just for that little that little advice, that that little uh, time I spent with her. And if you're not ready to do that, then just don't do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that ego of like, oh, I'm not being paid to help you yeah. out, like figure it out. No, it's not yeah, work. it's it's 
yeah, you definitely have to have a serving heart, 100%. Also, just listen to your customers. Like if there's something that they may advise or say, hey, like this would be cool if we had that. Just like I showed you, I have the, the blackout um, that will be done in about a week. That came time and time again from customers. Once we had the funds to, to do it, I was like, cool, that'll be the first thing that we do. Um, one, it helps those clients that if they wanna book again, but then it's also gonna bring in more customers uh, that wanna book out for that specific reason. It's been a pleasure, man. Thank, Thank you. you bro. Thank you. Absolutely beautiful. It's cool to see the journey because I was following too. along since like yeah. you found this space and like yeah. put, you know talking about it in the group mm -hmm. and things like that and to see it come to life and it's doing its thing. It's beautiful. Bro. So just keep it up, man. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it.